how your assessment works. There's a simple route to getting that degree. Your degree is made up of modules. You'll choose these modules each year over your three or four years to suit your tastes. And each year you'll take 120 credits of modules. Modules could be worth 30 credits. They could be worth 15 credits. Each module is assessed usually by coursework and exams. Exams are normally called Component A and these are control conditions. Coursework is normally called Component B and this can be control conditions but not normally. To pass a module you need to get a 40% average for it and in order to do this you need to get 40% or more for each of your components like this. As you can see, if you get 40% for each of your components A and B, you pass the module. But you can't pass a module if you haven't passed both components. If you fail a component, you have to resit it. Now, you can just stay afloat with a component if you get between 35 and 39 percent. But if you do, you'll need to get more than 40 percent for the other component in order to compensate for it. And this is called a compensate or fail. You might find a component has several parts, like two exams, or an essay and a presentation for your coursework. When this happens, passing the component means getting an average of 40% for the parts, usually called element. It doesn't mean getting at least 40% for each part or element. Let's say you need 40% average to pass the component. You get 20% for your essay, that's one element or part. And you get 60% for your talk for the other element or part. Now, 20% for your essay is below 40%, so you might think that you failed the essay. But, remember, it's an average of parts within a component. And so if we average the two, you get 40% for the component. And that means that you've passed it. Just to make things even more complicated, weightings for parts or elements within a component might be different. One part, like an essay, could be worth more of a, the component than another, like a poster or a lab book. But at this point, <laughs> that is maths that's not worth doing. So. The take-home message really is if you attend, engage with your studies and always do your best, it doesn't really matter how the numbers work and it doesn't matter what the minimums are to pass or fail. I hope that was useful. <laughs>